Today we're going to do the Leatherman Surge versus the Leatherman Surge review. So Leatherman has been producing their Leatherman Surge over here, the old version, for a while now. And it kind of takes after the Leatherman Wave or Leatherman Charge TTI. And recently, they just released this version with the removable wire cutters. And I went ahead and picked one up, decided to do a compare and contrast what they kept, what they removed. So with this new Leatherman Surge is the right multi-tool for you. If you like the previous Leatherman Surge, I say it probably will be, but there are some differences that you should know about before you pick one up. First is obviously the removable wire cutters. They basically took the head from the Super Tool 300. Actually, let me rephrase that. It is the same head as the Super Tool 300. So if you like that multi-tool because of the wire cutters, you'll certainly like this new Surge. So this new Leatherman Surge is nearly identical to the old one, except for a couple small differences. The first you'll notice is the removable cutter heads with the hardened 154cm stainless steel wire cutters. A much harder steel than whatever is being used on the wire cutters here. And that has been a complaint with this full size heavy duty multi-tool. People were getting upset when they were dinging up the wire cutters on their Surge using it as a full size set of you know pliers. So that's actually a pretty smart upgrade. However, for whatever reason, there are some things that did change on this new Leatherman Surge that I did like about the old one. So let's start with the outside of the tool. One of the first things that I caught right off hand is the old Leatherman Surge has nice rounded needle nose pliers, which is really good for detail work. Granted, maybe the Leatherman Wave or Leatherman Charge TTI would be better for that kind of work, but I did like that feature. Where the new Leatherman Surge has squared off plier tips, just like the Super Tool 300. It works well for a heavy duty multi tool, which is what this is, but it's something to be aware of if you do like the more pointed pliers that come with, say, the Leatherman Wave or this, you know, old. Surge model, which is still being sold some places. So that's really it for the outside. Let's go ahead and close these tools and we can look at the outside tools real quick. I have to admit, the new Letterman does feel like it works a little bit more smoothly. I don't know if that's because it's brand new or if they've refined their process a little bit with this multi tool. Um, the new Letterman just does feel a little bit smoother. One of the things I did notice is the buttons on the back of the tool for locking of the interior tools definitely work smoother. They uh, have a little bit, this, this area here has been bent down to create some more clearance. So when you compare it to this other one, you can see that they do look different. And the new one definitely works a little bit better. The old one does work good, but the new one is just a little bit more refined from the next generation of, you know, refining the tool. You still have my least favorite tool on the multi-tool, which is the interchangeable saw slash file. I would much prefer just to have a full length saw, but that's no change from the previous Leatherman Surge, so I'm not gonna give them a hit on that. I knew that getting this tool, that it would have that removable saw. So that's that. Let's go ahead and open the scissors up here. They did change the scissors a little bit. I'll get them open here so you can see. The, um, the new Leatherman Surge has a metal tip on it, or a metal thumb rest. The old one had plastic, and I always thought that was a little bit cheesy. Uh, it seems like something that would break. So I'm really glad that they actually changed that. It seems kind of silly, but it seems like the plastic one on the old pair of scissors could just you know kind of rip off if you weren't careful with it it's not in the most secure design but the new one is metal so that that's pretty cool you um you know get a little bit more quality of a pair you know that's a little bit better quality there i think with the new tool otherwise you still get the same robust beefy scissors that many people love on the surge the other two knife blades are i exactly the same as the original Surge were, 
but let's go ahead and look at them real quick just for comparison's sake. There's your straight blade, nice 3.1 inch 420 HC steel, nice hard knife blade. Um, yeah, you can get S30V and stuff, but for what this is, this multi-tool, that's more than adequate. And then the other thing Leatherman has done really good of is always doing a fully serrated and a fully plain blade on a lot of their multi-tools, which I love. If you're going to have a serrated blade, just do a full serration on the blade. Much more capable, more like a, a saw for cutting rope and rough material and processing material very quickly. So they kept that in both tools, which is great. The really only difference in the exterior of the two surges is the new one has no plastic on the scissors. Let's go ahead and move to the interior of the tool and you'll notice some more changes. So here's the Leatherman Surge new. Just like the old one, you have the full size bit exchanger which fits the same bits as the Charge TTI and the Leatherman Wave. So that's good. The, um, if you have bits already, they'll be interchangeable. And then, of course, you have the bottle opener. And these are pretty much standard throughout the Leatherman line these days. And the other surge I will show you has the exact same tools. So that's pretty much to be expected. So that side of the knife is exactly the same. That side of the multi-tool, I should say. And now let's flip to the other side. If you remember, the original surge had an eyeglass set, is what I like to call it. And the new surge does not have that. And that was something I was kind of disappointed of. Is I really liked the eyeglass set. It really kind of came in handy at just the right time. And the new surge, I'm going to pull all the tools out so you can see all the tools. The new surge does not have the interchangeable eyeglass driver, which is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, I don't know why Letterman decided to, to do that. It was kind of a favorite feature for some people, especially if you had glasses or did lots of fine detail work. I suppose they figured on a heavy duty multi-tool, it probably wasn't getting used very often, and they decided to go with another tool in its place. The awl is on both of the multi-tools, as you can see. So I'm really glad to see that. It's a nice beefy awl. It's on both tools, so no loss there. And then on the original multi-tool, you have the big flat screwdriver that the new one has. But the new one has the addition of the small flat screwdriver. And I'm not really sure why they did this. I'm sure they had their reasons. Um, I like the big fat flat screwdriver. I'm glad they kept it on both tools. It's a really good chisel-like tool. And I suppose the small one they intend you to use as a flathead screwdriver and, and you know, make the big one your chisel. I'm not entirely sure. But um, it's kind of a toss-up. You know, I like the small eyeglass tool here, but the uh, small flathead screwdriver, I guess, could come in handy too. And that's all the features on the new versus old Leatherman tool that I would share just a quick review I've done a more detailed review with the old now old Leatherman surge which is very similar as you see um, independently and I also compared the Leatherman surge to the super tool 300 that I showed you earlier in another video thanks for watching guys please like subscribe and um, you'll see another video coming soon